around for something completely different. What's up, everybody? Uh, so I was, uh, I, I went to the nether and got one gas tier, so I got a couple potions, which I guess I've already taken both that I had on me, but I thought I, I hope I didn't drop it somehow. Anywho, um, I, I don't know, I really wanted to get to a, um, mine shaft and, uh, try to get some melon seeds because it would be really nice to have glycerine melon. And lo and behold, the Grand de Pastic, um, Pastic, something like that, um, which, that's a weird name for melon, but anyways, let's, uh, let's grab them, and, uh, added bonus, we got a diamond, un diamant, um, so yeah, let's get out of here, I'm gonna go back up to the surface, and I think we're gonna plant these melons, like, real quick, uh, if I can just find my way out of here. So I'll see you soon. <laughs> and that was quick. Uh, welcome back. So uh, I was just heading home. Let me show you where we are. I'm getting this real weird thing on my screen right now, guys. Like, I'm getting some... I forget what they call it. Um, shearing or something like that. When um, your screen kind of is not doing the V-Sync thing the way it should. So I hope that's not coming across in the video. If it is, I apologize. But you see here we've got our ladder that's going up. Uh, right below the church, so that's where we are, and I was just heading back from the mine shaft, and I uh, came across this stuff, so let's see what we got, two name tags, which I will replace with that, I guess I can put stuff in the chest, that would make more sense than dropping it, um, dup, 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 I really don't need any more horse armor, but I'll take it anyways, let's see what we got over here. Some more bread, bread. Golden apple, that's sweet. That's, like, really awesome. Uh, definitely want the saddle. I've already got two cat discs, so don't need that. I'll take the gunpowder. And, yeah, I mean, apparently I had gotten pretty close to this. I think I had seen, actually, now that I remember coming at it from this side, I think I had seen that and um, just kind of run away because I wasn't ready to take on spiders at the time. Uh I don't know if I was already in UHC mode or what, but uh, I was not looking for that fight right then. Okay, how do I get back over there? That's the question here. Aha! Sweet. So let's go ahead and eat this apple as we head up to the top. And of course it's night time. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the house, drop off some stuff and maybe grab some materials and set up a little melon farm little thingy doodad thingamajigger so yeah i'll be back all right um oh you know what i just i was like okay i got everything i'm over here i'm ready to cut back in i don't have everything uh gonna need more green clay so thankfully i got a bunch of clay on me already which i will just use up real quick I shouldn't need any more than um, than 64 for sure, but I'm gonna give it to myself anyways. All right, let's run over there. So I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep in. Oh, I'm also gonna. <laughs> sorry, bad planner. I am a bad planner. Save that and that, and we will make some stairs. Whoops. in case. Oh, I can't. Uh, there we go. Just in case we need the sandstone. Okay, sorry about that. A little dead air there. Everybody get a chance to get a beverage. So, yeah. Um, I want to keep in line with, with what I have been doing, but the thing with melons is that uh, they need, they only, you know, I only need the one strip of water and they need one additional block to grow on top of. So I think I'm just going to keep it going. So let's do this first. Let's see, I think it's right here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep, yep. And then I'm going to clear out the 
this level. Oops. God, that thing's so fast. It's amazing. Reminds me of using like a, I don't know, some item from Feed the Beast. I can't even remember the names of the stuff, but that's what it makes me think of. Alright, let's take the sands. Place that one on that one. And remove that one. Let's go back a little bit farther. Okay. Now, uh, water's going to come out down here. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> come on. There we go. Alright, water's coming out down there. And I can never remember how long this water lasts. Let's find out. Way too much stuff in my inventory right now. Right. Okay, cool. That'll work. And let's see. I hardly can remember how I did this for this other side. Full surrounding. Okay. Yeah, let's make it look nice. I don't I don't see why not. So if I had a full surrounding one, I'd have a dirt block here and the melons growing on this level. So we're gonna do that. Um and let's go ahead and remove this layer too. So God this thing's a beast. I might be lagging a little bit with all the sand on the ground. I do apologize if I am. That is not my intention. Wait a second. Do melons need to be right next to water? They might. Let's do a test. Let's do a test. I can't remember if they get irrigated the same as the other, uh, the other plants. So, or crops, I should say. So that. Oh, and I need a hoe. All right, I'm gonna pick up some of the stand, some of the sand, uh, get a hoe, get the melon planted, and then we'll be back. Alrighty, we're back. Let's go ahead and uh, I, I just went ahead and made wooden hoes because I figured I don't need anything crazy for this little project. Let's see what happens. What plant three? Grow them fully. Oh yeah, that's right. The forgot the bone mail. Bone meal is not like Instapop anymore. So, if these are getting irrigated, which they should be through there, like it should work the same, they'll pop um, a melon over on this side right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and dig, dig, dig. Right. Um, so yeah, just to not get too far ahead of myself, I'm going to let this work and see what happens, and I will bring you back. Okay, I think this answers that question. Um, I was uh, I put one dirt block down here, but I've got these two sand here, so I don't think the melons are going to uh, pop onto sand. So let's go ahead and dig this out real quick. Woo! Woo! That thing is so quick. All right, and let's um, break down all these melons and the seeds. I can't believe you only get six seeds from six melons. That seems a little. Uh, it's like it's almost like Notch and, and Jeb never uh, ate a watermelon in their lives before. What the hell? Pardon my extreme language there. I'm just very partial to watermelons myself. And there's a million seeds. What are these, the seedless variety where you occasionally get one black seed? Okay. So let's go ahead and finish off the rest of this. Boop, boop, boop. Well, I guess I need to remove the whole thing. I just didn't really want to fight against the water, but c'est la vie, mon frère. And I think I'm just going to make one more right next to this. I think that's what I'm going to do. 
Uh, ba ba Oops. That was a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. That was not what I wanted to do at all. Because now that water source block is gone. So I go over here to where there's this too wide thing. And, and I'm assured that I, I'm taking a source block, but it'll get filled again. So. All right. Beep. Beep. Cool. Oh, you know what? I did this wrong. I sure did. I sure did. Oh, and now the zombie apocalypse is going to be upon us. I did not need to cut those out. I am scatterbrained right now. I'm not even narrating very well. I've been uh, listening to... Uh, this is ner nerd alert for sure, guys. Um, I've always been a big fan of the Harry Potter series. It, uh, you know, it kind of, when it came out, I was only a year or two older than Harry was, I guess. Um, like as far as his timeline, or not older, but younger. So it, it kind of made sense for me, even though I started reading it when I was a little older than Harry was. So that's a little confusing, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I've always been a big fan and uh, I haven't actually read the books in a long time because I have been doing uh, the Jim Dale version of the audiobooks, which are just fantastic. Um, they're great. Uh, I recommend them to anybody, kids of all ages from 0 to 70. Um, they are very good, uh, but they're not for everybody, of course. Um, I guess you kind of have to like the British accent a little bit. That's maybe a prerequisite for doing the Jim Dale thing. Why did that not... That should reach all the way down. I don't know what it's getting blocked by. There we go. A little match up there. Okay. Oh, here we go. Thankfully, I got uh, Tranchant Du. Um on this uh, sword, so it's it's actually pretty effective, and it's also not knockback, or recul, or something like that, recul. Um, so it's, it helps me not get hit quite as much. Look at these guys. I mean, they're just coming from everywhere. Ah, go away. I mean, there's just no stopping them. All right, I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go sleep. And I'm going to let these grow and prep up the next one right next to it. And I'll bring it back. Okay. Well, it's working well. But um, I have to make kind of a decision because I didn't really plan this out very well. I thought I was matching up with this side nicely. And I definitely am. But I will not be able to match up in this corridor. Because if you see, it goes all the way to this pillar. From like the outside of this pillar to the outside of that pillar. And that would mean that this one can go from the outside of this pillar to the outside of this pillar. So let me run over here real quick. Yeah, see, this one is just coming on to this pillar right here. Although, let's see. Um, okay, I just had another idea. One, two, three, four. Okay, I think what I might do, this might work. Um, I can put another soul sand one right here and then I think I'll be able to fit a another melon one right here so I am going to do just that um, let's see Let, let's just go ahead and and work it here one two three one two one two three and this is the green right here And this is the end of this one's lane. And this one happens to be one more. Hmm. That'll kind of look funny, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're, 
we're going to extend this whole line by one. So, whoops, not there, but here. So let's go ahead and put in the green. I'm going to need more green. Okay, that's that. And then I got the one in the middle. Or the one down the middle, I should say. Okay, definitely going to need some more green, which that's fine. I got plenty. Let's go ahead and do what else we can. I don't need to stop work just to go grab one material to finish something off. And do some of the rest of the stuff. Right, this is gonna come out. This pick is just or pick. I keep doing that. I cannot correctly name my utensil. Um, shovel is just ridiculous. Very strong. Oh, oh, that's the reason why I'm okay. The reason that this is the length that it is because this is where the water stops. Um, so we're, we're gonna need to put one more row of water in here which is not a big deal really at all. Um, but I will... See, that looks funny, doesn't it? So I'm going to make an infinite... All right, I'll tell you what. I, I, I keep rambling here. I'm going to make an infinite, infinite source of water, flush this thing out, bring both of these out, get some more soul sand, plant some more nether wart, and uh, finish off the melons, and then we'll see how it looks once we're done. So I will see you guys in a moment. All right, guys, welcome back. I have uh, completed this little project, and, um, oh, well, I said that just now, and I didn't mean it because I am not complete. I want to do that, and I'd like to do this. Whoa, whoa, stuck in the water. And I'd like to do... Which one was it on? This one? Should be good. Oh, and this one's on this one. Hmm. Well, I'm not... I don't have to be too symmetrical in my life, but, uh... I don't know, this is one of those things where I want it to be symmetrical. And we'll put some sand back down there. Grab a glowstone. All right. All right. So, uh, we got the melons growing. That is awesome. Like, I've been waiting for melons for a long time, and finally I was just like, well, I know where that mine shaft is. I'm just going to explore the hell out of it. And I uh, finally found some melon seeds, and finally got the melons growing. And this is good. I'm going to change my game mode and fly around for a second. Um, this is good because... I can now make instant healing potions as opposed to regeneration potions. And now, like, pretty much every ingredient in the, um, in the whole process is sustainable. Um, I mean, unless I forget and throw away the glass bottles, that's the only way that's going to be non-sustainable. And the other one that's not sustainable is if I want to, like, make it a um, instant healing 2 potion, I think, like... I might need glowstone for that, which I've been using for the regeneration potions, but, you know, that's not exactly a sustainable, renewable uh, resource, but no worries there. Uh, not, a, not a big deal. You can always go farther in the nether, um, and there's plenty of glowstone to be had already. So, that's a big, this is a big deal for me. Um, I know it looks a little wonky. Um, in fact, it looks really wonky. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Well, you, you're seeing what I'm seeing, uh, that the jungle tree spot is slightly misaligned, as well as this melon spot, and these two are misaligned as well, because I didn't pay attention to what I was doing. Um, so I'm going to fix those real quick. That is That will bother me. So let's, let's get to it. I'll bring you back in just a moment. All right. Got that mostly done. 
Uh, zombie apocalypse is kind of starting back up again, so I need to get home. But I just want to look at it one more time. Uh, I left the jungle tree area for just the time being because it's going to make this look a little funny because um, it's not going to be even the way that they're laid out right now which I'm not too upset about really but I'll just have to change some of the stuff like the glowstone placement I think and I might move the trees one over uh, at least two of the trees so I don't know that's, that's going to take me a little longer and I'm actually running out of time to play today uh, before I got to go to work but I just want to look at that one more time. Uh, I might do another round of glowstone here at the bottom ends of these two. And maybe like a couple of glowstone in the nether wart I think might be okay. Might be acceptable just to kind of keep it lit up. Um, but yeah, it's a big deal for me. Sorry, I've, I've been rambling for a second here. But, you know, getting the farm... Oh, my phone is about to die. Uh, sorry about that. My you know, getting the farm to a, a stage where it's, like, mostly complete, where it's, like, really doing what I set out for it to do, um, I think it's really interesting and awesome. I mean, it's the first project we ever really did in, on the server, on this, um, on this world, and look at what the aqueduct has turned into, uh, all sorts of stuff, and then, of course, we got the road, and the ugly building, and, uh, the pasture, which is still coming along. I still haven't done those little modifications I was talking about. Uh, but I'm very happy to have the melons done. Um, okay, so I'm not... I, I just started flying away, but I'm not going to cheat completely. Um, in fact, I'll throw myself down into the melee and go back to game mode 1, or game mode 0. And uh, we're going to run home real quick. On our new fancy road. Uh, so this road will go around the other side of the farm, and it will meet up with the bridge that will be going over the aqueduct, and uh, that will be awesome. This will be in a larger, <laughs> larger. Um, this will be more complete soonish. Um, depends on what's going to go on tonight. I might go out with my friends and do that kind of thing, or I might be a hermit, like generic B. And uh, play some Minecraft, 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 on a uh, on a Friday night. I'm I'm gonna be, I need some caffeine in me. I'm gonna be useless at work. All right, so we're back home. Let's uh, let's do something real quick before we're done. This is gonna be a total waste, but it'll be a first for the map, and I'm excited about it. Let's go ahead and grab. Oh, I've got too much stuff on me. It's just ridiculous. Uh, Okay, let's go and grab the three bottles of water, a few do, 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 something like that. Go ahead and throw some uh, nether wart in there, verru du nether. The, one of the worst problems with speaking French, um, for me as like a natural English speaker, speak, you wouldn't think so the way I've been talking for the past five minutes a natural English speaker, there we go, um, is saying words that, um, like, are homonyms. Oh, wait, I, I'm an idiot. Uh, words that are, like, homonyms or, you know, just, uh, what do they call them? Um, oh, it's not idiom, but, like, um, oh, it's gonna bother me. Um, blah, 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 blah. What do they call them? Um, Crap. Not homonyms. Not idioms. The word that means that... I can't even think of it right now. Forget it. <laughs> that is... I just wasted everybody's time of my own on that little uh, nonsense train there. Okay, we got a bunch of uh, gold. Uh, but anyway, I was just going to say, it's, it's hard to say words that like are already English words, but are French words as well. Like, nether. Like, you know, I... I don't really think about saying that in French. So when I say, you know, verru du nether, it's hard to not put an American or English accent on the last word simply because I know it first in, in English. And that's what I was trying to say. I just cannot think of the word for those kinds of words. Um, 
can't think of it at all. But anyways, let's make some melons, eh? Alright. So we got six scintillating, <laughs> um, which I guess is like glycerin, scintillating, ooh, scintillating pestic. Alright, enough of that. Let's get that in there. And uh, I'm actually not sure how much a single potion will heal. And I'm not sure how much a potion with glowstone will heal. So... Well, that's, that's not helping out very much. Do I have feather falling? No? It's a dangerous time to just be falling onto the ground. Uh, but I do want to test this, so... Uh, how do I hurt myself? Uh, of course, it's not good for my armor. Can I catch it? Can I catch it? Caught it! Alright. So let's test one of these. Swan Instante. Or, oh. Instantane. Woo! Instantane. That's, that's hard one sec. Alright, what was that? I wasn't even looking. Was that two? Or was that three? Was that down to three or was it down to four? I'll have to check that footage. So I think that was two. So I'm going to throw in a glowstone. Put that back. Uh, let's. I can, I can afford to hurt myself one more time. Right? All it is is diamond armor. It's not like I really need it. Alright, so we're down to four. So instant healing two gave us four. So that that's good. That's good. I can I can live with that. Not the cheapest recipe, uh, simply because of the gold. But it, thankfully, it's just gold nuggets. So it's not that it's not that serious, really. Uh, I'm gonna put those in there. I'll put that in there. Gold in there. Sweet. All right, guys. I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, I do hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we have done quite a few things in general. Uh, really happy to get the melons in there and, and get that other side of the farm kind of um, to a stage of completion. Uh, got this road going here. Got the pasture rocking. We got the big oak tree. Uh, so it's all happening. We, we got it all going on. I think next episode is going to be a big episode. I might do a 40-minute episode or 45. This one, I have no idea how long it's been. Um, I've just been rambling a whole bunch. But... Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it, like I just said. Uh, we're going to do a bunch of stuff. We're going to try to get the roads down, so I'm going to do a bunch of clay quarrying off camera, because uh, there's nothing more boring than clay quarrying. Whoa! I'm a poet. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video, and I will see you next time.